global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. What happened in Enneme Nugu state has brought a lot of outcry, majorly from um, um, the non-political elite of the Igbo speaking path and also Nigerians as a whole. A lot of persons condemned that killing and they said we could actually do better when it comes to its security issues. But all through all this um, saga, uh, none of the politicians have really, I'm talking about the path, the Igbo speaking path, have really come up to either condemn or encourage as the case may be. But um, one has uh, stood up and decided to speak up uh, regardless of his political uh, ambitions, regardless of his political standing. He has decided to make his, uh, you know, bear his mind over this matter. But before we go into the news uh, proper for the analysis, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Senate Minority Leader Senator Ainaya Baribe has conversed for the setting up of a judicial panel of inquiry by the Enugu State Government to look into the reported killing of some youth in MNA. Elnugu state last weekend by security operatives. In a release issued in Abuja on, on Tuesday by his media advisor Uchenna Awam, the Senate Minority Leader joined other groups to demand for the urgent setting up setting up of a judicial panel of inquiry by the government of uh, Enugu State Honor, uh, Honorable Ifani Ogwani. The judicial panel at the at, at Baribe said will help to unravel the truth in the assertions of both the security and other groups on what really happened. He condemned in very strong terms the killings last Sunday of Igbo youth in Emene Enugu State by the security operative saying the consistency of the killings has given room to wide suspicion of a sinister movement motive. The ranking senator also warned that the labeling of every Igbo group as terrorists and the insistent killings of high youth by security operatives has become one too many and is no longer acceptable to his people. He said it is disheartening that security operatives seem to derive pleasure at any slight whim to unleash mayhem using the most lethal weapons against unarmed Igbo youth at every turn. A Barbie further stated that such unsavory, brutal, and hateful result to extreme repression demean Nigerian democratic actors and, and even questions her unity. He said, we are in a democracy where every agency of government, particularly the security apparatus, must adhere strictly to rules of engagement, which, or rather with regards to dealings with the civil populace, in such a manner that will be in form conformity with international best practices. The last time I checked, Nigerians still enjoy freedom to associate freely. Nobody has told us that the Igbo youth meeting last Sunday was a gathering meant to launch attack on anyone or anybody. Who would they who would they attack and for what? What intel informed the police and DSS deployment to the venue of the meeting? Hmm. In incontrovertibly, reports suggest very strongly that the killings were ignited when the security operatives stormed the venue of their peaceful meeting, not that the youth marched to anywhere to attack anybody. These are the issues that should be addressed at the panel. The minority leader further said that it is even most worrisome that the people will no longer gather together or gather peacefully in their own country without being dispersed forcefully or being branded terrorists for no just cause. Mm. The lawmaker stressed that he would not want to believe that the white card labeling of every Igbo youth group is as, ter as terrorist is a cover to achieve a predetermined plot. Let it not be that we now have an army of occupation in Southeast working clandestinely to create fears and state of anomaly in a region that has remained perhaps the most peaceful in the country, he said. 
He, however, advised the youth to remain very calm and not to resort to any form of reprisals or succumb to provocations that could attempt or that could tempt them to take laws into their own hands while we await the official reaction of the Enugu state governor on this matter. All right, that's basically what he said in summary and it's not far from the truth. Because if you check the report that have been coming in, coming out, those who are in the scene knows what truly really happened. But not all Nigerians were in the scene. So it basically has to be on report. The IPB members that were on ground gave their own report. Their report was definitely different from the report of DSS and those of the security agencies. So technically speaking, Nigerians are torn between, okay, who do we believe? Do we believe the agency? But the report all agree on one thing there was a killing okay or there were killings not just there was there, there were more than one killing okay but now the challenge now is who is saying what and if you check the angle where um senator Enya Barib, who happened to be the, probably the only politician that is talking about this in bold in very bold terms okay because one nigerian says something very unique and let me quote it's just a young nigerian uh Igbo, I guess an Igbo guy there about. He said something unique. He said, look, IPOB or not, there are first Igbos, which is a, 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 which is a group or which is a region or a group of tribe of people, you know, before they become IPOB. So why you label every Igbo? Not all Igbos, as the case may be, are IPOB members. Some will say, in as much as you're Igbo, you're IPOB member, okay? But the truth is, there's a registration that goes through all those. Not all Igbos have registered as IPB members. So some persons, they see it as an ideology for some. So others feel that, look, whether ideology or not, I belong to one Nigeria. So they are not, not everybody should be categorized as, as bear friends. So if some persons like these usual Sunday meetings that really happens in some part of the South is where they say, okay, Omonaga drain and the rest. Okay, even the Yorubas have it, a uh, um, uh, 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 kind of garden as in, family affairs kind of gathering and they said okay we want to have meeting of uh, of uh, our indigenous our in-laws or our clan head meeting our cultural meeting as they so most times in some uh, 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 in some busy cities they usually stay it for sundays okay because it's believed that monday to saturdays you're very busy you've gone to work so sundays are your free days after service you go for your meeting so imagine these guys gather together it's okay let's have meeting of whatsoever whatsoever meeting it is and they just assumed the ipod members and just imagine what would have happened. Maybe the innocent citizens who have not identified, quote-unquote, with IPOP. Or what if they're even identified as IPOP members, as the case may be. So what Enyina Abaribe is saying, look, this is getting too many. The killing is becoming consistent. It's becoming normal. And it's, be it's as if, according to his words, it's as if there's something sinister happening in Southeast. And they say, look, governor set up a panel of inquiry let's find out what truly went wrong what went down and this has to stop and if you ask me we don't need attention now okay if they are doing peaceful peaceful protests it's still within the confines of democracy for crying out loud if it's a peaceful protest please allow them it's peaceful it's a protest because it's democracy right if it was, but from even what we hear, they say that it was not even a protest. They were having a meeting. But we don't even know much until this panel is being, a, you know, enacted and eventually the truth will eventually come out. Whatever it is, we'll, Nigerians will get to know the true picture of what went down on that day. But that's where we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our comment section. Let's interact. What do you think of our barrier suggestion of, of getting the panel of inquiry, judicial inquiry, where they will know what truly really went there, or do you think they're just wasting so much time? Let the deed let let there be a reprisal or let the deed be done. Let's begin to call names and all that. Let's interact. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more updates on this much more.